it is a pop art cartoon look for halloween i know i haven't made a youtube tutorial in a really 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 long time but i really think for a really long time i was just lacking the motivation and the lack of like creativity that i was having by and making yeah. halloween tutorials so i'm going to try to get at least two up for you guys i know i'm really really late um but i hope you guys enjoy me doing this makeup look uh and let's go ahead and get into the look without further ado let's go ahead and get started into the makeup look so the first thing you want to do is you want to prime i use the um, professional makeup balm by benefit and then next what you want to do is just make sure you have a flawless canvas for your look so i'm starting with the tarte shape tape concealer in tan sand and i'm just concealing under my eyes and then because I've gotten a little bit lighter because um, of the summertime, the winter time, I'm sorry, I'm taking a lighter color in the color medium. And I'm just using that to brighten up. And then also just conceal if you have any other blemishes on your face. You just want to make sure you have a smooth canvas. And then with the damp beauty blender, my beauty blender is beat, but with the damp beauty blender, just go ahead. With the damp beauty blender, just go ahead and blend it all out. Once you have a smooth canvas, just go ahead and use, I'm just using a little bit of the Laura Mercier setting powder and another different beauty blender and just tap a little bit of the powder under your eyes so that your concealer under your eyes doesn't crease. I don't know about you guys, but I have really, really, um, my under eyes crease really easily, so I try to do everything in my power. The next thing you want to do is just go directly into it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to set my, you're not really going to need to do too much on your eyelids. So I'm just using my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm using these two colors right here and the colors is called raw sienna and burnt orange just take those two and just put them really in your crease and it's okay to be a little bit messy right now you'll clean it up later began with a dramatic wing eyeliner so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a wing eyeliner pretty thick with a large wing okay so after you have your lash business on you can go ahead and wipe your powder off your face so I'll just go ahead and that's called baking so we're gonna wipe our bake off and then you lightly just want to go ahead and contour. I normally always contour just a little bit. If I mean, if I am going to wear makeup, but if I'm not wearing makeup, then it's whatever. But if I am wearing a little bit of makeup, I normally do go ahead and contour. So go ahead and do that now. And I'm using Becca's um, contour in. So I'm using Becca's contour to darken up in the color dark golden just to like bronze me up a little bit because I lose a lot of the color in the baking process and the concealer process. And this color blends out like really 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 easily so. Okay. 
after you've done that, you want to go ahead and apply your blush. And I'm using the Tardius Contour Palette. And the blush color, it doesn't have color. It's the Volume 3 though, the Tardius Volume 3 Palette. So I'm just going to dip it in. All this you want to do before you actually start using green color but you're more than welcome to use white as the dots and other things for your face it's just go ahead and buy a white eyeliner super cheap so you can really find that anywhere first what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna blind my waterline with this lime green color and this makeup look is about all about pop art so go all out if you need to what you're gonna do next is you're gonna t go back to that black eyeliner that you have and you're gonna start outlining all the places that you would normally stress your eyes so you kind of want to like stress your eyes out a little and you want to follow <laughs> So here I'm just going to add some teardrops with the blue eyeliner. This blue eyeliner is I think from the beauty supply store so anyone should be able to buy it. I think this was the hardest part for me because I was using a mirror and it was backwards. But I just went ahead and flipped the screen around so that you guys could get the idea. Soon as I finished up with that, I just went ahead and took my lime green eyeliner. Again, you guys are more than welcome to use a white one. That's what I used originally when I first did the makeup look, but I didn't have white, so I figured this would really give off the same effect. Uh, you just want to use a lighter neon color so that it really makes your face stand out and look pop art. Alrighty, and this is the final look. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for the constant support. Bye!